Good morning, everybody, and my name is Tanjir Islam, and I've just graduated from mechanical engineering from Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and this is one of the best universities for aeronautics. So, but I started um, in mechanical engineering from second year, so I'll be sharing my experience about whether whether or not you should go for aeronautic aeronautical engineering. The best source you could have is um, U.S. Bureau of Statistics. And let's figure it out. And if you have Google, yeah, I got it. You have everything. So before going for any kind of measure, you should actually have your own research on whether you should go or not for that measure. Because um, when we get get out of our high school, we actually have no idea what you should learn and why you should learn. And then after studying a couple of years, then we figure out like which I shouldn't have been here. Uh, it was the same thing for me when I came here for aeronautical engineering. I actually didn't know much about this sector, but when I came here, I got to know a lot of people. I talked with them about job and other um, facilities. So I got demotivated and shifted my major to mechanical engineering. So. There it is, and the next thing we're gonna see is like job prospect for next 10 years. Job outlook 2014 to 2024, it's minus 2% in decline. That means in next 10 years, there'll be less jobs in our aeronautic sector. So I'll not tell you to jump into this measure and come out of the universities and we'll find nothing. I mean, a lot of my uh, friends graduated from this university and they actually didn't find any job because uh, most, most of the companies here in China are like government oriented. So a lot of defense related things are there and you will not be allowed to get in as a foreigner so I think it's the same thing uh, there in the US or in, in, in Europe but if you're com coming out of a third world country I think you'll, you'll have less opportunities as well so I'm checking it on Friday July 22 I'm not sure when, I'm gonna, when you're gonna see this video but keep it in mind the next measure you're gonna see is uh, my measure mechanical engineering it's five percent it's fair amount of uh, growth for next 10 years. Actually, there are a lot of jobs here in China because um, a lot of manufacturing are going on here and there, so it's pretty easy to get a job, but um, you'll have a little bit of a visa issue because Chinese government doesn't like outside workers coming to China and take, take away their job. So be a little bit careful about coming to China because you have to find a job after your graduation. So next measure would be electrical engineering and it's like 0% probably um, I would say no do not jump into this. So aerospace is kind of a dead measure mechanical fair amount of growth electrical I would say um, it's okay to go but I'll not highly recommend. And next measure you're going to look for is like computer science let's see it. I already searched it. Okay, that, um, so before jumping into computer science, because it comprises with like a lot of different measures together, because you can go for web development, you can go for um, software development, you can go for um, back end, front end. If you don't know what, what those means, I mean, look it up. So you can see here computer network architectures, architect, computer programmers. Uh, computer and information research s scientist what they do actually um, you go to data centers like uh, for a bank or some big companies they have big data centers and you look up for their data mining tools and uh, other um, you should take care of that data thingy let's see software developers I, I, I think um, software developers so here you can see 17 percent much faster than average but at the end of the day you know anything you do around computers you get down to coding like at least in the basic starting level but when you go on top then things might change a little bit because you might be a software architect that like you define top level um, architecture of software rather than just sitting down and writing codes and let's see for web development wow so it's like 27% much faster than average. So it's a good practice to learn a little bit of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, and then um, a little bit of back end like PHP or Python. And I'm, I, I'm hearing a lot like P 
PHP, PHP is um, dying out, Python and Ruby and Ray are coming out in the market. So be a little bit careful and search for yourself before jumping into, into that measures. And before finishing that, I would say Google, here's your best friend. Type a lot of things before jumping into that measure. For example, is computer science a good career or good measure in 2016? Look it up, read some blogs, uh, you'll have ideas. The best thing you could go, um, go to your friends or your seniors and you can talk to them about different things because uh, the guys who are in fourth year or uh, coming out of university, they know a lot more about these things, so what's going on there, what job market wants. You might get help and you can find people online like trying to help, but stay out from scammers or some companies who actually will take you into, into some universities that you don't want to be. Okay, good luck and thank you so much.